Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Don't miss out on our comic book creator interviews, including our monthly Chichester chats with comic book legend D.G. Chichester, superhero movie brackets, and our search for the worst comic book movie of all time, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month, full video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes or go to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. This is Luca Parrott, and you're listening to the Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks podcast. Anyone order some animated justice? Unlimited justice. Outrageous. <laughs> That's right, kids. We're back to cover part two of The Enemy Below. Who is we? I am Phil. Joining me, as always, it is... <laughs> That you menace from the, the other enemy from below. Hell oh, hell. <laughs> now, is that a sexual joke or a short joke? Both. <laughs> Works on many levels, my friend. The enemy at crotch level. It is. <laughs> is that a short or a sexual joke? Both. <laughs> Have you met me? <laughs> Tap her way downtown. Boom. Oh, I gotta get the Circle K after this. I gotta find that new Mountain Dew flavor, Purple Thunder. And I was like, why didn't they team up with freaking, I guess Coca-Cola and Disney have a thing, maybe? I don't mm. know. But like, it would have made perfect sense. Yes. For Thor, Love and Thunder. Love and Thunder. Man, I saw another friend of mine on uh, Facebook today, like, oh, th- you know, that movie was the worst Marvel movie. I'm like, have you seen Thor The Dark World? Have they seen Iron Man 3? I know. I was like, "Have they seen the first Captain America?" Because he even mentioned Iron Man three. I'm like, "Wait a minute!" I was, I like Iron Man, but yeah, that might be worse than Love and Thunder. It's just not what the kids want anymore, you know. What they uh? Like Thor, he's he's a relic at this point. Like we we all would have preferred for RDJ to stick around, and everybody else from you know the original Marvel movies could have gone. Are, are they are they prying are they prying that role out of uh, Chris Hemsworth's cold de- cold dead hand? Uh yeah, especially since his last rom com didn't do good, or that Netflix movie he did that didn't do good. So he's he's got to do what he's got to do. Get a little long in the tooth. I was gonna say I see all yeah all these like uh, previews for other movies, and it's just like yeah the only, what the only ones he like has that are successful is Thor, right? Yeah, but the one that he did with Rebel Wilson. Yeah. Oof. Ooh, I, I was I was rooting for him. <laughs> yeah. All right, kids, that enough marble for you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. No, no. You know, you see stormtroopers behind me, so you know. Her shrine to the mouse kid. <laughs> Actually, all my Star Wars stuff is pre predates Disney, so. Ooh. The Except purest. for Mandalorian merch, obviously. To the purest kids. <clears throat> what prequels? <laughs> All right, so should we should we get to uh, the enemy below? Let's do it. Uh, AKA douchebag Aquaman makes his presence known. Hey. All right, kids. So yeah, I don't know about Lilith, but I'm watching this on HBO Max. Uh, d- well, I mean. Arc. You can no 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 no. I have I have the DVDs. You yeah, I was gonna say so do I. Because commentary. Prices. Yeah, I do have the DVDs too, but it's just easier. But you should own your physical media, kids. Mark yes. my words. Mm-hmm. You'll regret mm-hmm. this if you don't. Yep yep yep. But All three, right. two, one, hit it. That's what she said. I need that Michael Scott job. <laughs> one of them. We are going down. Hey, oh, there's a drop. <laughs> yeah, we're going to watch the recap because I'm too lazy to fast forward. Yes, and I don't want to take a chance of missing the uh, intro. Exactly. <laughs> Previously on, there's an underwater fight. Superman told Aquaman to come talk to the World Assembly. A baby sleeps. <laughs> Loki, Jazz, Drew, hates Aquaman, and I love it. I love that for us. John Stewart found missing plutonium. Spanish the blooms get me every time. <laughs> Bloons. But 
takeover of Atlantis. A coup. I am Ocean Master. Dun -dun, dun -dun. I am Ocean Master. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I, I liked everybody except for Jason Momoa and Amber Heard in that Aquaman movie. I told you Aquaman I was... I love me some Willem Dafoe. I'm just saying. I told you Aquaman was a decent movie except for Jason Momoa, I guess. I was like, can we have an ocean? I don't even want a Black Manta movie. I want an Ocean Master movie. I really didn't even have a. I mean, her acting, I didn't have a problem with her, but, you know. Well, she didn't even talk that much. Well, she just literally stand there and look pretty, bro. Well, I had no problem with her acting, little fire. I didn't know she was full of crap. At I that need point. to put this back as my ringtone. Dun, my dun, 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 dun. You're going to have to switch back and forth between this and X-Men, huh? Well, you know, I have two phones, so. Yeah. The Himbo, see, the see, Himbo another, phone and the regular phone. See, that's another 90s thing we're going to have to add to the list. The X-Men animated, especially oh, with, the new one, with the new one coming. Duh. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, you half-breed. No, no, no. I'm doing this for everyone's safety, kid. <laughs> Oh my god, that was on that South Park was on last night too. Uh, Satan and his new boyfriend. Did you smell mom. burnt toast? <laughs> oh my. Come on, gang. I thought you killed him. Yeah, but we're in hell. Where was he going to go? Cleveland? Ooh. <laughs> that's at night wing PDP? No, I think that's what they said. <laughs> well, I thought I disagreed with them, but. Why is Mirror's forehead so big? Hey, oh. <laughs> Look at that forehead, bro. Is that that crown or whatever on her head? She got a five here for real. Who is that, Tyra Banks? Oh. <laughs> That's okay. I can get away with that now. Oh, uh, yeah, you can, yeah. <laughs> Mira, we all hate Tyra Banks now. Ever since she started that MLM, we all hate Tyra Banks now. It's fine. Like I said last uh, last time we did when we did part one, uh, yeah, Mira, with the most see-through outfit we could do on a children's <laughs> cartoon show. <laughs> The prince is gone. He stole my baby. Maybe the dingo ate your baby. <laughs> Definitely the octopus. Hey, Maybe the dolphin ate your baby. Uh oh. Oh, the, oh don't I was gonna say don't, don't mention dolphin around Mira. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> no, you can't slip under their defenses. Hey, oh, and again, I was my ship's it. bigger than yours. I, hey, oh, I was rewatching this, and the uh, the Justice League's coming back down in another javelin. I'm like, oh crap, are we miss are we gonna about to lose another ship? <laughs> Batman's getting real tired of your stuff, kids. <laughs> that Wayne stock price is just dropping and dropping. You know, shout out to Martian Manhunter for having the sexiest costume. I really should have put him on the list. Oh, they, oh. but we were doing we weren't doing costumes unlike Charlie. We yeah. were doing superheroes. And I respect Martian Manhunter to, to to, you know, just say he's just sexy. I was just I'm surprised Charlie didn't, but that's DC. I'm sure he didn't think of it. Oh, right in the back. They hey, oh. punched him. Uh Donkey push Superman down. with the breath mask is crazy, bro. Well, I think, uh, well, again, if nothing else, you could say it's like a communicate, you know, so he can talk to the others and stuff. Because, I mean, and again, it's not, it's not that he doesn't have to breathe. He can hold his breath. It's probably easier to wear the mask. Especially when you're tipping over a huge Atlantean ship like that. True, true, true. It's just funny because it's a cartoon, so... Yeah, they were they weren't trying to treat us like children. They did they, they respected our intelligence, and I appreciate that. Oh, shh, shut up! Well, they're shooting balls at them. <laughs> Great balls of fire. Uh, now do one better. A couple of balls down the gold. <laughs> shut up! You might hear this. <laughs> no, nah, Black Canary's not here. He's fine. You beat me to it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh god, there's things on their heads. What is it? Some kind of synaptic disruptor? <laughs> yep, yep. Thank you for remembering that 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 you know Atlantean technology because it's based in magic can help it hurt Superman. Yep. And I get it. I get the whole John Stewart and John Jones thing, but it's like would those synaptic things really like mess with Superman and Wonder Woman. It's just like. Pull at the him. end of the day, we aren't really doing. We aren't playing up the demigod aspect of Wonder Woman, so. Yeah, but it's like if you're. You have super strength, don't you? Just be like, yeah, making it hard to concentrate. But how much concentration do you need to go? Ugh, break out of my a lot. I guess. Plus, she's got mittens on. <laughs> Wonder Woman, John, can you? She's like, I'm not gonna John. I can hold my breath. <laughs> you can concentrate. So, yeah, oh, so, the uh, sound mix on this is superb. Mm -hmm. I got my headphones in. You can hear everything. <laughs> like the, the little jet ski pulling up. Oh, That's really? Awesome. Nice. Yeah, you gotta have that 7.1 Dolby, babes. Man, oh man, look at that Atlantean with his uh, early 2000s goatee. Jeez. <laughs> Sexist. Oh yeah, the girl. Ah, that's what you get. I bet the girl. Bet the girl will go Who do you think you are, hot girl? Was that oh, foreshadowing? Yeah. That was foreshadowing. Mirror clobbering them from behind. Hey, -o. she looks like she's used to swinging that. Hey, little, not in the mace. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Not in the face. Oh yeah, choke on it. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> I've seen commentary with Lil Hellfire coming to a Patreon near you. Something tells me tonight's going to be International Women's Day. Hell. <laughs> I want my baby. I want my baby back. Baby back, baby back, baby back. Baby back. Chili's baby back ribs. K. Michael, sauce. K. Michael Scott. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I am. Uh, it's unfortunate, but he's that's not what that she bad said. of a guy. He supported Pam's art, damn it. And that's what real friends do. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> Good luck, pay me back on your zero dollars a month salary, babe. <laughs> Two hundred dollar plasma screen TV. Here's married to Katie Holmes, Dawson's Creek. No! That's pretty bleak when you kill a baby, bro. Oh, we can't, well, again, is it plausible not, Billy? I just left the prince there. I can't help it what happens afterwards. I didn't have to save him, even though I put him in that situation. Anyway, anyway How Batman of you! I mean, all the Justice League getting a tour of Atlantis. How pretty You know, it? those silver bracelets just bother me. It's like her, her tiara is gold. <laughs> Gotta have a matching set, bro. She's a princess. A literal princess and her jewelry doesn't match. Yeah, seriously, kids. Come on. Where's she shopping? Forever 21? Come on. <laughs> nice. Man, how short is Mira? A little Somebody hellfire? shut up that crying baby! <laughs> how short? How short is Mira? Is she like a little hellfire uh, size? Thing? Pretty sure, pretty sure. But she may be small, but she be mighty. Good and wet. As you should be. As you hey should. Hey, especially in Atlantis. <laughs> That baby's just crying. And that's off. why you're supposed to have a pet octopus to come save you at any given time. Even super friends knew that. I don't know. No dolphins? No nothing? That's right, man. Because, oh, we're doing serious Aquaman. Nobody likes serious Aquaman, bro. 
So, th so there's a river of lava un under. Well, the actually, that is that's actually true. Do your research, Phil. Sorry, I forgot. I'm here. There's with actual me. like the trenches and stuff. That is very true. Sorry, I forgot. I'm here with magma, Phil. With the wo magma. woman who knows everyone, magma. <laughs> How about new? I mean, geothermal vents. Where did they come from, Phil? Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry not to be all esser on you, but you ain't well, gonna talk well. crap on science and Aquaman thing. You're not gonna do it here, sir. Okay. How about the science of he can free his one hand, but he can't free that other hand. So we have <laughs> to have that plot device of him chopping his hand off. Exactly. Well, convenient plot point is convenient. He'd do anything for love. He I'm like even it. Even if you have to take half that cliff with you, can't you just? You know how they say things cost an arm and a leg. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where does it cost to be ruler of Atlantis? Well, an arm. At least, at least a hand. I think the hands come off next. <laughs> nice. He's like, that was my good jack in hand too. Damn it. <laughs> I don't know. It was his left. Oh. Aquaman's totally left-handed, I'm just saying. Oh! If you know, you know. But isn't that a sign of evil if you're left-handed? Yes, it is. Because I'm left-handed. I know, that's the joke. Well, I'm ambidextrous, but I'm left-handed. Hey oh! <laughs> A.K.A. a little best threesome of her life. <laughs> a little stranger danger and a little familiar, familiar friend. <laughs> Oh, oh, by now, Justice. What's the Lunatics best case of Lunatics podcast you're not listening to? Unlimited Justice, by far. Well, that escalated quickly. Feel free to quote me on that, Phil. Oh, I will. <laughs> oh, and I will. <laughs> oh, I will. Tap, tap, tap in my way downtown. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love yeah Wonder they're... Woman learned that the hard way at Flashpoint. <laughs> hey, oh. I love how they're welding that uh, hook on. He's like, can't you go faster? Yeah, that's a delicate procedure. Okay. I don't know. Aren't you just like slapping it on and suturing it on or something? Boo! The worst thing they ever did to Aquaman. Captain Hook, they call me. Oh, my. Yeah, I'm like, we really, we really have to do that in the cartoon? Make a cool toy, bro. Exactly. Well, to be fair. I'm just waiting. The, like, the whole time that Justice League's calling Put him. Put his off. shirt on, asshole! Lilith, don't be talking to your mentor. We're done. I love the whole time that Justice League keeps calling him Aquaman. I'd be like, my name is Arthur, damn it. John Stewart just called him freaking fish boy. <laughs> It's here, fish boy. <laughs> Aquaman. Don't call me by my surface name. Come on. Ooh, nice. Uh oh. Evil Atlantean subs. <laughs> oh, speaking of evil subs, some ways new menu sucks ass. So. Everybody knows you do firehouse subs, bro. We have Jersey Jimmy Mike's Jones. also. We have Jersey Mike's, yeah, too. Oh, uh, mm, Jersey Mike's is like a step above, but that's none of my business. And they're offering the gluten-free bread Jersey Mike's now, so. Ah. That's the other thing, man. They switch up that menu, and then I guess Subway discontinued the gluten-free bread. I'm like, really? Oh, they did? Uh huh. Oh, that sucks. I'm like, really? <laughs> you know what it is? They don't want to hire extra people because you know, so they they streamline that uh, menu. You oh, know, yeah, they took know. a couple of the subs that I used to eat off, and I haven't been back since. Yeah, because they don't want to hire more people. Because, like, sometimes, like, that one we went to that one time, I mean, sometimes you'll go in there, there'll be, like, one teenage girl in there, and there's, like, a line. I'm like, this poor girl, you know? It's like... You know, the, the coolest subway I ever went to, it was in um, Louisville, Kentucky. They had a drive through Yeah, there there's one around here that had... We have a few around here. There's one with a drive through but they didn't have our, the uh, gluten-free bread for Luca. Jimmy John's has gluten free bread, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe. I don't know what the closest one is. I don't know if we have one that close. Honestly, 
everybody should just get rid of American bread out of their diet, whether they have a gluten sensitivity or not. It's terrible. Yeah. Like, I, I actually stopped getting a lot of the subs at Subway and just made them into salads. Because you know what salad needs? Meat! <sighs> and my favorite kind of pie? Meat pie. There you go, Phil. Talking about meat, so natural for Lilith. Get him, John! John about to F some stuff Talking up. about meat is so natural for Lilith. Uh-oh. Avalanche. Yeah, we were missing this one Atlantean fight. Yeah. Oh, yes, because uh, Orm has activated uh, Arthur's doomsday device where he's going to melt the polar ice caps. Well, we did that on our own, didn't we? Well, I was going to say quicker than it was. <laughs> it's melting. Bro, somebody tweeted about how there's like 3% of all icebergs and like, you know, um, Antarctica are made of penguin pee. And I can't stop thinking about it. Hey, man, the penguins are trying to say They gotta pee somewhere and you're like, oh. Things you never thought about. Hey, Lil. Pee, pee. (laughs) Exactly. Matt and Trey always know what's up, Loki. (laughs) Hey, man, those penguins are trying to save us. Batman's like, my plane's sweeter than yours. <laughs> Seriously. Like, they're like, oh, we need another toy. Get the bat, 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 bat plane immediately. These toys are so hard to find, too. It's like it's almost like they didn't make enough of them for some reason. Probably didn't. No, like, they were big on, like, merch and stuff. The only reason why this show exists was for the toys, much like, you know, why Young Justice got canceled. But you can't find these toys for nothing, bro. Hmm. It's like Red Skies of um, Red Skies season of Batman, um, the animated series. You don't really find a lot of those either. Hmm. But yes, who's going to help Aquaman save the day? Of course, well, John Stewart and <clears throat> and who and who? Batman. Batman. Like I thought it would have been fun if it would have been just all the green boys. So it'd have been Aquaman, John Stewart, and you know Martian Manhunter. But no, mm-hmm. <sighs> boys in green, baby. But hey, there, there, there was at least a scene or two in Atlantis with no Batman. So it was like, well, no, we can't do that. <laughs> Batman's got to go in the machine. Can your ring protect me? <laughs> well, let's find out. And then he's like, you know what? Batman's a little annoying. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Yeah, but it, but then if he doesn't die, you've pissed off Batman. <laughs> and you know he's got 20 plans to take you out. <laughs> Man, that's such a cop-out, bro. Like, I always use it, but it's a cop-out. Prep time. <laughs> yeah, he needs prep time. Well, every single one of those guys can destroy you without prep time, bud. Like they're not they don't even have him using the Triton. It's a shame. I love when Orm like stabs him, but you don't see any blood. You don't even see a scratch on him. You don't yeah, you, I was gonna say you don't even see it really. Uh uh-uh. <laughs> I don't have to save you. I mean you could put like a red line or something on him. Nothing. Nothing. Well his skin is technically kind of semi indestructible, to be fair. True. Especially when he's on land. But you think Atlantean weapons can pierce him now. Oh, look at Aquaman giving him, oh, I ain't gonna kill you, but I ain't gotta save you. Nobody saw no. that. It's all good. The, the Vader. No! <laughs> do, 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 do. Power down. Yep. Batman pulling those rods out. Hail. Aww. Batman actually giving credit to somebody brings a tear to my eye. Don't call me Shirley. Yeah, that that version of Aquaman, whether it's Momoa or here in the comics, you know, with the hook and the shirt shirtless and the long hair and stuff, just looks like a dirty pirate. You take that back. Pirates are cool, bro. Pirates are cool, bro. Pirates are. Oh, so now we get. He's like, end. I'm still gonna call you Fish Boy, though. We we get the end, uh, you know. Hey, I guess you're not that bad of a guy. You either. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, you ready for this one, love? <laughs> Don't judge a hook by its cover. Oh. That damn baby. Ah, no, I don't want to watch the net. I mean, I do, but I'm doing a whole podcast here, so off you go. Dun, 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 dun. Eh, like I said, this isn't my favorite version of Aquaman, so it's, it's no. okay. I like that Batman gave somebody credit. They're really coming together as a team, and I think that's what this whole purpose of the episode was. Yes. They 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 were actually really sucking as a team before, but now they're really gelling, so I like oh, that. Well, we really didn't have a lot of time. We had that first adventure, and then, it, you know, the, the second one was basically Jon Stewart on trial, so. Yeah. It's just so weird that, that that's the format that they decided to do, whereas, you know, most cartoons were, like, not being, epi- uh, were being episodic and not, you know, have, a, like, a whole through line where you had mm-hmm. to watch. So I think that that's what definitely sets this apart, too. But they had built up the whole universe with Batman and Superman previously. So I guess, you know, if you're watching this, more likely you probably watch the other stuff too because, yeah, you're, you're you know, we didn't have that Batman many channels Superman. back in the day. So, yeah, you're expecting you had some Fox stuff. Kids and you had WB Kids. And maybe, maybe if you were very unfortunate, you were a UPN kid too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that where Russell was watching the Hulk? <laughs> exactly. I'm pretty sure. I got to rub that one in. All right, so should we get to some little books, bookie yeah. bookies? <laughs> so you said you got Dark Crisis, World Without a Justice League, Superman number one. I I did. Um, I'm trying to support Superman for now, I guess. So yes, it's basically Superman. Because it's a... like you know, oh, whatever happens to the man of tomorrow, you know, that, that that's yeah. the vibes that I was kind of giving. So and that that's my kind of favorite. But all the league, yeah, all the league members are stuck in their own little personalized world. But it was Tom King. So, yeah. Uh-huh. And I love, you know, from ever since they've been shown the previous, they're like, who's his Robin? It's John. It's just John. But in yeah, the costume, pretty much, yeah. So what do you think about, you know, we see John growing up and. Well, because we got robbed of it. So they had to yeah. do something. Exactly. Bendis, Bendis, Bendis. Ooh, maybe it's meta commentary. <laughs> probably. No one Tom King, probably. Um, but I, I don't know. I I mean, they're probably going to milk the hell out of this, but I kind of like the concept. I thought the story was solid. The art was great. I, I actually enjoyed this book. This is like one yeah, of the like... Superman books I've enjoyed. Yeah, and it's just John like, what are we going to do about that dark side? I can hear the people dying up there. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the art is really brutal. You don't really see that in a lot of Superman, well, modern Superman books for whatever reason, unless it's yeah. bizarre. So, exactly. I that was kind of different and fun. Mm-hmm. I love. It. Hey, kid, if I didn't take a night off every so often, you wouldn't be here. I I really like how most of the like reviewers that reviewed this book were like, um, it's a fun exploration of uh, you know, how uh we got like how uh Clark would have would have reacted to watching John grow up had we not been cheated out of it. Like literally every single review I read had some form of that comment in it, and I'm here for the Bendis slander. I was gonna say I think we can take partial credit for that, can't we? Little I'm pretty sure. Bendis, Bendis. I'm pretty sure. But I, I just love how everybody's just like suddenly like just coming around to our side. Yeah. Again, if it's not some of his older stuff, I think every, uh, these days people are kind of like, uh, Ben, this. Yeah. Especially on that John stuff. Especially on any of the Superman stuff he did. No, I think that this is kind of polarizing because a lot of people, I mean, like it's like a 50 50. If you ask somebody if they like Tom King, it's kind of one of those things. But I. I like it. Like I like Tom King, so I, I was gonna pick up this book regardless, and it was a refreshing surprise. And then we got that Aquaman thing too. What did you think of that? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Why was that even in this book? Because <laughs> we're because we're probably not giving Aquaman his own uh, issue. As you shouldn't. As you shouldn't at this well, point. Well, that's why Aquaman franchise is dead, my friend. That's why Welcome it's in to here. the all black Adam and Batman uh brand line of books, my friend. We were we were kinda we were we were counting on some flash books too, but then Ezra had to poop the bed too. <laughs> Literally and figuratively at this point, wouldn't doubt it. Exactly. Ugh. <sighs> I actually, I don't know. 
know. I don't know. I think that uh, there were some controversial things about uh, his meta meta commentary on like war and stuff. So I think that's why a lot of people actually probably don't like Tom King. Ooh. They feel like he's too woke. I guess I don't know, but I don't feel that way. I I, I don't, and I don't think no. it's very pushy either. I just no. The man was in the CIA for crying out loud. I mean, come on. The man's been As on the was entire... a certain someone else that we don't talk about, but allegedly, allegedly. I'll anyway. tell you when we get off air. Okay, okay. Oh, did you um, did you uh, see Superman: Son of Kal number thirteen? I did. I haven't had a chance to read it yet, but is it good? It was. It was good. Yeah. I mean, it was a lot of you know. Well, they go to the fortress and Dreamers there, and they they get like a few. Like a, they get a vision of the future, which is not good. So, oh, okay. Well, it's never good. But no, it's that's good. kind of I'm... the premise of DC at this point. Yeah, but no, it's good. I mean, it's uh, yeah, co-written by Nicole Maines, who uh, played Dreamer on Supergirl. Okay, I uh, uh, my comic book guy recommended me Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman Evolution. So I just picked up number eight, and I'm gonna go back and read through it. But apparently, he made... it's like. That first episode of Star Trek, basically, but Diana is Picard, where the Q put humanity on trial. Oh, really? Yeah, so, like, number eight was really good. It's by Stephanie Phillips, by the way, uh, with art by Mike Hawthorne and Adriano de Bendetto. Um, Yeah, so I'm gonna go back and grab all the other seven issues. I really like the ending. And You know me, like I tell you guys all the time. I read the last page of a, of a book all the time or work my way backwards, so this is like, it doesn't bother me that I know the ending. I wanna know how they got here. Yeah. So okay. if you like those start, if you like that actual like the Q vibes of putting humanity on trial, I think, and it's only eight, it's only eight issues. I'm surprised they did eight, not five or six. Hmm. You have to check it out because I saw it on the list, and I was going to ask you if you had read it yet. Yeah, like I actually enjoyed that more than the regular Wonder Woman book this week, and that that's no Tino shade to Becky. Um. But yeah. So did you? So did you read the the Wonder Woman book this week? Yeah, I was I was curious about it. Uh, cause it's like checkmate. Like this is like the last thing Wonder Woman would do, but that's fine. I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm just gonna go with it. I mean, there's just I don't I'm know. sick of Aries at this point. <laughs> like Aries is Wonder Woman's Joker at this point, and I'm over it. Can we I bring mean, back Cheetah? Like, what's going on with Cheetah? <gasps> there's just a lot going on. Can she fight Poison Ivy? Somebody, Talia Al Ghul, somebody. There's Red just Claw. A, there's just a lot. Lady Shiva. I, I a... don't like it. There's just a lot going on here for like Doctor Psycho and stuff. Too and it's just, much. It's too much. Yeah. Let's go with some straight up villains, and it's like, and they're still doing those uh, young Diana backups. I'm like, who is this for? I get allegedly, apparently, you remember like it was a whole graphic novel of those, right? Yeah. It did really good, apparently. So that's why we're doing that. Like, it did really good. But it just the tone just seems so different from the like the main story. So I'm like, most backups I'll, do nowadays. I guess, but I'm just like I don't Those think are anyone. The vibes. But uh, you know, uh, your target audience, uh, like the younger, you know, I don't think they're coming for just the back. You know, it's, it's the there backup. to pad out the book. It is a four ninety nine book. So it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I know sure. that. But so you gotta do something. And you know, a Wonder Woman growing up is interesting in theory. I'll say in theory. Uh... <laughs> I love Hellfire. It's like, where's my shirtless Steve Trevor backup? <laughs> Bro, when they made Steve Trevor into like a super soldier, I'm just like, just because his name is And he's blonde, yeah. Exactly. <gasps> oh my god, make him the new guardian. I mean, at this point. I mean, come, I mean, it's just stick it in Marvel's face. It's like, hey Steve, he's blonde, he's got a shield. <laughs> that would be fun. And then they get Chris Evans to play him. Mm. <laughs> oh my god he's never uh, listen chris evans is never gonna leave the sweet sweet tit of the mouse ever unless he wants to go do some weird Why should he? uh movie where he eats a baby on a train chris evans can get it all day every day yes that was a snow piercer joke Babies either, taste Chris, best. either get chris evans to play him or uh jensen ackles honestly <laughs> I'm always down for more Jensen Ackles. So. Hey, old. <laughs> Although he was playing Soldier Boy a little too good. 
too good. Oh, God. If you're a Supernatural fan, if you know, you know. <laughs> oh, God, with the old ladies. <laughs> Let's go get Granny Humper. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, um, if you're not a bat book, it's looking bleak. <laughs> yeah. Naomi season, uh, season two number, what was that? Five came out this week too. I guess I'll just throw Naomi some love, just out of you know sheer allegiance to David Walker. How was um, it? It's the penultimate issue. Take a drink. Poor, poor Oswego. <laughs> That's all I can say. I mean, I mean that TV show did not help them at all. <laughs> It, it hindered them for sure. Um, but no, like, honestly, like, it's, like, kind of weird that this is the penultimate issue and it's actually finally, like, like, this is what we've been building up to, but it was, like, really good and, like, why wasn't the rest of the book? Like, I mean, like, it's build up, but still, like, it's really good, actually. It was surprising how good it was. Hey, hey, hey man, in the tradition of Brian Michael Bendis. <laughs> Bendis, Bendis, Bendis. There was so much action, so many reveals. You're just, like, your head, like, literal head spinning after you're reading that, like, it could have been like this the whole time. <laughs> but yeah, I'll try that Wonder Woman evolution. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the Flash hasn't been bad, and but again, I you know what I think I'm thinking there's going to be a big turnaround, a big uh, something or other, probably starting in January after Dark Crisis. So. Are we sure Dark Crisis ends in January? I feel like they're gonna. That's what the list goes to. I'm pretty sure the last issue of everything is in December. So it better be. They better. I, I don't, their, their New Year's resolution is to, to freaking give me what I want. Even they, I don't think, would drag out a, an event more. Well, it's like six freaking months. I don't think they're gonna. You know, people are gonna. How get... long did that brother I converge? It's, it was, we've literally, we've literally ever. I feel like since zero hour, we have been in a constant state of one event after the other. And I love how the Justice League's dead, but in their own books, nobody's missing. You know, it's just like, yeah, no, it's okay. We're it's not a joke. Work. It's a. Ju- it's just as look. Listen, I love stick- sticking it to Dan Dado just as much as the next guy. But come on, Whoa. this is getting ridiculous, guys. Stop. I mean, they're more. They're actually on the. They're above a level of petty that Phil couldn't even fathom at this point. No, I could. <laughs> like George, no, 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 I can fathom like, it. It's like that Seinfeld scene. <laughs> I don't think anyone could. Maybe you, but not even you. No, I could. <laughs> exactly. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> So yeah. Oh my god! They only think Petty would be put his name in it somehow. Be like, who did kill the Justice League? Oh, I don't know. (laughs) No, literally. Actually, it should be like whatever the studio exec that greenlit Snyder to do the Justice League. That that's who the name should be. Oh. That's the thing between that movie and Naomi's TV show. Yeah, that doesn't help them at all. Poor Naomi. Like they, they, they didn't even give her time to have a second, like a second volume of her book before that show. I know. Out. I was surprised. I'm like, we're getting the TV show before the second volume comes out. Really? And it's like, I mean, honestly, they, they, they rushed it so bad. They're like, uh, literally, I would have waited till Miss Marvel came out and done it right in between when Ironheart came out. There you go, yeah. Just saying, that way, two birds, one stone. And do it during the summer when there's not as much on, yeah. Exactly. Well, although network TV totally suffers in the summer. Well, unless you're yeah. Stargirl. Yeah, yeah, Star yeah. Girl is literally the exception to the rule. Although, world. even this year, Stargirl's coming back in the fall, so. That's because they have a lot of, you know, filler to fill. Oh, yeah. Because they canceled everything, so. Well, and Flash and Superman are coming back until 2023, so. Yeah. That's what they should have did, the fall. Naomi and Stargirl. <laughs> I mean, I think she needed a better lead-in than Superman, especially since they weren't connected at all. I mean, they used to ever the Flash used to lead everything in. Well, so. the Flash has not been. Well, yeah, yeah. Honestly, you, you the the funny thing is, is the best rated show on the CW. Uh, I think last season was uh, Walker starring Jared Padalecki because Supernatural fans come through. <laughs> You people have been together for like twenty years. Come on. Exactly. Listen, I've been I've been watching Jared Padalecki since Gilmore Girls. So, and I've been watching Jensen since Smallville. We we run deep around these parts. <laughs> Although he was terrible in Smallville, like that Jason and Lana thing was awful. <clears throat> awful. Put it here. Paul Weasley also on Smallville, aka your new Captain Kirk. So you know, I'm j- I'm just saying. <laughs> Smallville, uh, you're welcome. That's not my Kirk. It's 
because he's not ample. He's not an ample American. Yeah, yeah. he wants a guy in a girdle and a toupee. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is Shatner approved, guys. So get behind it or get left behind. Hey, oh. <laughs> yeah, kids. No, 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 no. And on that note, on that sexual in your, in your window note, give the kids the homework. Bill's like, I'm worked up. Let's get out of here. All right. Uh... Oh, great heavens. I got the vapors. <laughs> Uh, yeah, she's about to get the vapor. Uh, anyway. Can I get so, yeah. my medicine? <laughs> Can I get my medicine soon? All right. So yes, for the month of uh, August, because next episode starts hey, Phil, August. I, I, I only got like fifty minutes to go till I can open this. So. 50 50 50 minutes to go. Uh, she's gonna be sedated. Ah. Uh, <laughs> All right, so yeah, like I, I believe we said it last time. Next week we'll be doing America versus the Justice Society. Hang them, hang them high. Oh my! <laughs> and then since we uh, then I switched things up since we talked about it last time. Yes, in two weeks we'll be covering uh, from the Wally West series, Flash forty five through forty seven. Those Gorilla Grodd issues, guest starring Vixen. Because she can talk to animals. Yeah. And then the week after, we'll do more Grodd from the Flash 192 through 194. The Jeff John stuff. So, And then we'll finish out the month with, because uh, I believe the show will be back by then, where I put uh, Stars and Stripes 1 through 4 on there. So, <laughs> You son of a bitch, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Branding. And then... Uh, and then uh, I believe we mentioned it here, but yes, yeah, Little Hellfire is going in the rehab, 69 rehab for uh, September. So there will be no unlimited justice, but in its place, Mr. Will Allred and myself will be covering some Legion of Superheroes. So have Stay fun, tuned. boys. And uh, because of the fun. Oh, it's going to be Sausage Fest September. <laughs> no, Kristen will be doing a Nightwing News every week. <laughs> I'm just saying on my shows, it's gonna be a sausage. It's gonna be a sausage fest September, and I wouldn't have it any other way. It took a lot of sausage to fill. To fill yeah, your exactly. Position. Takes a lot of men to fill one woman's job. I'm just saying. Hey, oh. Just saying. You've heard it before, but it takes a lot of uh, men, men to uh, do a little hellfire job. Hey, oh. <laughs> All right. So yes. Yeah, so lots of uh, lots of good stuff coming up. But yeah, tip 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 your uh, subs on in September. So, not to be confused with uh when we do uh the Submariner next year September. Not to be confused with that. Yeah, we'll do it next year because that's what I had planned for this September. But someone, uh... well, not me. Blame the blame the Supreme Court. If you don't like it, take it up with the Supreme Court, kids. Oh yes, yeah, Little Hellfire is fleeing the country, kid. Yeah, yeah. It's not looking good, kids. It's not looking good. <laughs> So you'll know her when you see her, you know, when you see uh, a woman with four dogs crossing the border. Yes. <laughs> Do you have anything to Claire? Yes, I'm angry. I'm always angry. That's the secret. Uh, all right, kids. So, yes. So send your thoughts on all the upcoming stuff. Email us, capesandlunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614-382-2737. That's 614-38-CAPES. And remember, you can follow Unlimited Justice on Facebook, on Twitter. Uh, find all the uh, links to all the shows we do, the social me all the social media, the Facebook fan groups, because we have the Justice League and Justice Society Facebook fan group. Uh, For all, all the true, uh, you know, elites. If you want to talk fishnets all day, Ray, that's the place to be. All right, so... If you want to talk about how Charlie Usser wants to wear fishnets, uh, that's that's a whole different that's a whole different bag of hammers. The Capes and Lunatics. That's that's, that's an industry classified. That's the Capes and Lunatics uh, pop culture. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kids. But yes, and subscribe to the YouTube. Totally free. Everything we do goes up there. Interviews. All of it. Summer '69. So smash that subscribe button so you don't miss a second of it. Smash it. In honor of Little Hellfire. Smash it. Smash it. <laughs> Do your best Hulk impersonation, bro. Hey, oh. <laughs> Lilith's going to be smashing on her vacation. Hey, oh. Not really. Mexican Mexicans, lock up your sons. Anyway. Uh... And your tequila. <laughs>
combination will be deadly. All right. And of course, most importantly, subscribe to the Patreon. Uh, paying for the side of our own pocket. We're not rich billionaire bat gods. So every little bit helps. With 3 to $5 gets you exclusive access to uh, early access to creator interviews, including the monthly Chichester chats with uh, Mr. DG Chichester himself. I got the good mic out for you guys. Chichester chats. <laughs> and under the category of Lilith Hellfire and Man Pain, superhero movie brackets, we will find the worst superhero movie of all time. The July episode will be Catwoman vs. Green Lantern with special guest, number one, Hal Jordan fanboy, Mr. Will Allred. I, of course, love Hal Jordan. I, of course, love John Stewart. I, of course, love Cal Rayner. Seems like I'm getting a package every other day. I love the North. <laughs> he gives me his bone. Sinestro did nothing wrong. Ah, uh, so yes, yeah, so please subscribe to the Patreon, and if that's not enough, pick yourself up some capes and lunatics and capes and lunatics. Hi, ah, no. not a thirsty lad anymore. Good for you. No, actually, I remember my drink this time. Yes. All Never right. be without it. Never leave home without it. <laughs> Especially if you're dating a little hellfire, get yourself a case and call call for some help. <laughs> all right, so find all of that at Linktree l a n k t r dot e e slash capes and lunatics all right it's a little hellfire for anyone wants advice on how to stage a bloody coup where can they get a hold oh, of oh no I, I am not i do not no no no, no. if you want to learn how to flee the country <laughs> um, find me on twitter at little hellfire on instagram at little hellfire 69 and of course on tiktok making all of the comments and maybe possibly just a smidge of content at little hellfire 69 hey she's, fl she's fleeing atlantis <laughs> yeah it ain't what it used to be neighborhood's gone to the to the dolphins I'm going to the hole on principle. Bigger, harder, stronger. <laughs> oh, it's been a while. Don't pull it out unless you're going to use it. That's true for guns and That's guns. what the Supreme Court said. Hey, oh, burn. <laughs> Bigger is better. We were busy boning. It's all rape and murder, I'll tell you that. That's what the Supreme Court said. Hey, oh. <laughs> Let me get a ride on your alligator back, bro. What they should say is... Somebody's muffins getting buttered. That ain't my business. Exactly. That should be everybody's policy. Exactly, kids. Write your laws that way. Somebody's muffins getting buttered. That ain't my business. Oh, my. <laughs> Thank you for doing us. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! What? You what? said doing us, not joining oh, us. I said joining us. No, you said doing us. Play back the tape. <laughs> Thank you like, for... I know it's summer of 69, but come on, Phil. Thank you for downloading and doing us. Uh... <sighs> yes, next time, America versus the Justice Society. So it's always been America versus us. So, okay. Until then, come back next time. Get yourself some unlimited justice. Outrageous. <laughs>